so we're on our way down to Powder Canyon right now, and I'm about to hit the entrance gate, so we'll pay our fee, and we'll go down, and we'll take a look and see uh, exactly how erosion affects our area here in the Texas Panhandle. Okay, so that was the trip down. We're going to actually head to a trail called the Lighthouse, which has the very famous uh, hoodoo, which is basically that structure you see, the lighthouse. And you see it on phone books, you see it all over the place on advertising about Amarillo, where it's actually here in the canyon. It's about a two-hour hike to, I believe it's round trip, or maybe it's one way, I can't remember which. But anyway, we're going to hike to that uh, lighthouse uh, hoodoo, and we'll take some video there and take a look at some of the erosion in the area. Okay, so this area to the left of me here, is uh, this whole whole big thing you see right here is the most famous landmark here in Powder Canyon and really for a lot of places around the world that know about Powder Canyon it's the thing that I identify with and really what this is is a hoodoo. A hoodoo is basically an area that is made up of stronger sediment basically harder rocks and things that don't erode, erode away as well and so what happened was at one point this whole thing was basically formed together with another piece that's on the other side outside the camera angle that you can't see. It was one big long shelf at one point in time. And what happened was rain has washed away everything that you don't see there. What, what used to exist there is no longer there because of rain and snow and wind and everything that's eroding away that's just tearing away at the face of it. Most of those things that wore away was mostly shale. And when I say shale, it's basically a type of rock. And uh, we'll kind of show it here to kind of let you see what it is. It's basically just real thin uh, rock that can be uh, washed away real easy in storms and rains and uh, even gravity pulls it down and it starts tumbling causing more of it to fall and of course if you have animals up on the sides of it it's going to uh, you know push it downhill uh, especially people as it walks along it uh, it's going to cause it to come down as well so anyway this is the most famous area in Powder Canyon is called a hoodoo right so this whole area back here that you can see all of that is just eroded away. This whole canyon basically started out as flat land, just like you see all around Amarillo. However, you know, over over thousands and thousands of years, basically all the rain and, and everything that's washed away through this area, you know, natural river or, or creek systems have just eroded away this canyon. And, and from an aerial view, from a satellite view, you can see this canyon going on. For, for miles and miles. And so the Prairie Dog Fork of the Red River uh, is basically what carved this canyon. And uh, basically the, the water rushing through this canyon over all these thousands of years have just basically destroyed this, the, the landform. Basically it's eroded away all the dirt particles. And as those dirt particles start washing and running into each other, they also start causing things to erode away and weather and, and and they move on downstream. And so uh, if you notice, uh, it's, a, it's quite a bit different as far as the, the sediment here. It's very, very uh, grainy and it's all made of real loose dirt and uh, we have lots of caliche and clay. And so the rocks you see around here really are not even really solid rocks for the most part. You'll see some of that, but most of the rocks here are sandstone, which are real brittle and can break apart really, really easy. And uh, it just takes just a mat, you know, just pulling it apart with your hands. And then uh, you'll see a little bit harder rock here and there. But all the rocks in this area, you know, 90% of them are going to be sedimentary rock. And if you remember the rock cycle, sedimentary rock is basically particles that have been cemented together because they've been layered by wind and everything else, and they've kind of sat down on one level, and then the other layers on top of it sit, sit on top and squish it down. And you can see these ribbons all across the canyon where you see uh, these, rib these layers and streaks of, of landforms basically where sediment has, has basically laid down and then you know hundreds of years go by and new sediment is laid down and so we get this layering effect and uh, it's basically all compressing uh, these sediments together and then of course the, the rain and everything cements them together and causes them to become sandstone and other types of sedimentary rock. 
So really all these rocks you see back here in the canyon are sedimentary rocks. Okay, here's the creek right here behind me. This is uh, the Prairie Dog Fork uh, of, the, of the Red River. And uh, basically it's, it's doing its thing. It's just washing away more and more sediment as it travels through the canyon. It's basically making the canyon uh, deeper and wider every, every time it runs. And don't forget, water is the major source of erosion uh, in our world. And wind would be the second. Okay, so this area right here behind me is just a solid sheet of just layer and layer of different types of rocks that are just compressed together and that's how these rocks are formed. Remember they're sedimentary where they compress together uh, over time. All these sediments that have been laying there, new sediments lay on top, rain and water gets in between them and then they just start compressing like cement. And then we get the sedimentary rocks. So some of these white banded layers, you can see fragments of these rocks all over the ground. And so um, one of them right here uh, is gypsum. And gypsum, uh, if you notice, is real easy to identify. It's got a lot of crystals in it. And it's uh, basically, uh, they use it in wallboard, like sheetrock and things. And it's very, very abundant. In fact, uh, on my hike, uh, I'll show you a little clip here, where you can see a gypsum layer of rock kind of cutting through an area where the trail kind of met. And uh, it was kind of cool, because you can just see these bands kind of going through. But some of the other things you'll notice here are, um, we've got some, yeah, that's just sandstone. And sandstone basically is just you have these layers that are just compressed and it's just basically real sandy and broken apart like you saw in the earlier clip where I was kind of breaking apart that. But if you notice, the, you know, it's just lots of sand. And in fact, you can sit here and grind. The stone just broke off. You can sit here and grind. Uh, in fact, on the, on the trail on the way to the lighthouse, I actually I took some pictures of some rocks where people had carved their names into the rock just by doing this and you can get real deep grooves by doing that and so it's just really really uh, soft rock it's not real hard and uh, it's just because it's sedimentary it's, it's made out of a lot of sediments that have just kind of eroded and, and come together in creek beds and compressed and things over over all these years. Okay so I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching a little bit about Powder Canyon and understand that the canyon is still getting bigger every single day every single year the canyon is getting wider and it's getting deeper a little at a time, but over a thousand of years, it makes a big difference. And so uh, the main process of erosion in this canyon is water, which is the biggest form of erosion in our entire world. Wind is going to be second, which we know a lot about wind around here. Uh, of course, the Prairie Dog uh, Fork of the Red River is still running through the bottom of this canyon, and it's continuing to carve it deeper and wider. And, you know, maybe one day it'll be the size of the Grand Canyon is right now. But, uh, of course, that's going to take a few thousand more years for that to ever happen. But anyway, it's still a process that's going on today. Wind is the second most abundant or most prevalent uh, erosion in our world and on our planet. And so we, we know quite a bit about that too around here. Now, on the second part of this video, we're actually going to travel down south. We're going to hit the south part of Texas. And we're going to visit the Gulf Coast and see how coastal areas also experience erosion. southernmost part of Texas. It's right by Brownsville, which is right there on the border of Mexico. And uh, we wanted to kind of get away to get to a little bit warmer climate uh, during our Christmas break. But while we're here, I wanted to show you a few um, things about erosion that occur on beach lines and anywhere where you have ocean waves crashing upon the shore. So let's take a moment and, and go to the beach and, and visit there and kind of see where erosion takes place. Now, and if you see behind me, you'll notice all these waves that are just kind of pushing across and washing into the, the sand. And that's what I want to look at is how is this sand made? Basically, the sand was once uh, larger rocks or seashells, coral, uh, fish bones, just whatever has happened over the years. And these waves never stop coming in. And so they're constantly beating against the ground and washing up sediment. And sediment, of course, is break, broken down 
particles of dirt and rock and everything else. And so it's just kind of rolling it around, uh, causing it to turn into this really fine sand. Sand really is just like you would find in a playground. And so when we pick it up and look at it, it's just really, really fine sand. Okay, so what I want to do for, the, for a moment is kind of let the camera kind of spin around. We're going to uh, actually just uh, do a panoramic spin of the camera and let you see the whole area of the beach and basically what's in front of me, what I'm looking at now. Of course, the ocean is behind me, but directly in front of me, there are sand dunes. And sand dunes are basically a result of deposition. And deposition is essentially what happens whenever uh, eroded particles or sediment is picked up and carried somewhere else and left somewhere else. And that's why we call it deposition, such as deposit. It's deposited elsewhere. And so after we've gotten a chance to look at that, we're going to actually walk up on the dunes, take a look at the uh, sediment that's everywhere, and uh, take a look how it's kind of piled up and how wind has changed its uh, texture. Uh, so let's take a look at that now. Okay, so if you notice behind me and to the side of me, you see all these dunes basically where the sand has been picked up by the wind and deposited in these areas right here. We're going to take just a moment and we're going to walk through these dunes and kind of look at how the wind has made different types of um, wavy looking patterns in the sand. And we actually are going to see the areas of growth basically where um, secession is taking place. And you'll remember secession from seventh grade where basically plants start growing and they start adding nutrients soil as they die and so on. So anyway, we're going to take a look at that as well. As we go across these dunes, the erosion is basically uh, the breakdown of all the sediment and sand. You see it piling up in these dunes. So the dunes go on just as long as the beach line is there. You can see the ocean here just beyond the, beyond the dunes. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed uh, kind of this segment of the video where we got to look a little bit at um, oceans and, and the Gulf of Mexico and kind of how it's a little bit different than our area, in fact quite a bit different than our area. Um, and what's amazing is just some of the sea life that, that I really enjoy seeing when we're down in these areas, such as this pelican right here. It's amazing how, um, you know, this wildlife is pretty used to people in a lot of ways. Uh, we'll kind of end the video kind of showing a little clip of a dolphin watch we did while we were here and how the uh, dolphins uh, just kind of ran with the boat. So we'll kind of end on that. Anyway, uh, please go back and review this video if you're having any trouble. And, uh, you know, always check me out online. Uh, go to other videos uh, if you're having, you know, to go back and review anything in my class. Always come to see me in tutoring or shoot me an email or post me a comment. I'll be happy to get back to you there. Anyway, thanks again for watching.